Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Tadwa and in this video we are going to write a program to check whether a given number is a power of 2. Now let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in an angular brace we will write iostream.h header file and the next preprocessor directive is hash include in an angular brace we will write console input output dot h header file. Now let us write wide main function curly open brace and here in the declaration section I am going to declare all the variables. Here I will write data type integer n m and the next variable is status and it is equated with value 1. CLR SCR is a function which is used to clear the screen. Now we will ask the user to enter a number using cout stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark I am going to write enter a number so enter double quotation mark and put semicolon and we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard c in and we will take this variable n and after receiving the value from the user through keyboard we are going to keep the original value intact in one more variable called m so here i am going to assign value n to the variable m now we will go for iterating using while statement so while n is greater than 2 why n is greater than 2 because here in the question they have given whether the entered number is power of 2 or not hence we have to write n is greater than 2 next we will check out the condition if n modular division by 2 so this always gives us uh, the remainder after dividing it by 2 so if it is equal to 1 then the control enters into the body of this if and it has to change the status value to 0. So earlier it was 1, now it will become 0 and forcibly we are going to bring the control out of this while iterative statement. So curly closing brace. If this condition is false then else part has to execute else n is equal to n integer division by 2. So this always gives us the quotient. Now we will check out the condition if status, if status means what, if status is equal to 1, if it is true then it has to execute C out m and in a double quotation mark I am going to write e is power of 2, end the double quotation mark and put semicolon. If the status is set to 0 then this particular statement will not get executed, else part will get executed, here I am going to write else C out stream insertion operator m stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i'm going to write is not power of 2 and the double quotation mark and put semicolon here i'll write get ch function and curly closing brace now let us take an example here i'm going to write output once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter a number i'll write enter a number here I am going to write for example 8. So here value n, sorry 8 is stored in n and in turn this n is saving value in m. So here I am going to write m is equal to 8. Next we are going to check out while n is greater than 2. So 8 is greater than 2. Condition is true. Next we are going to check out 8 modular division by 2. Here in statement if modular division that is n is 8 modular division by 2. So this is going to give us remainder 0 because 2 1s are 2 4s are remainder will be 0. So here this particular condition will be false. Once this condition is false then the control transfers to else part and it is going to check out n is equal to n value is what 8. 8 integer division by 2. So 2 1s are 2 4s are. So quotient will become 4. Now n value is 4. Once again control transfers to while and now n value is what 4 4 is greater than 2 yes condition is true once it is true then it is going to check out this condition once again if n is what 4 modular division by 2 so this is going to give us what 0 correct which is not equal to 1 hence it is false because 2 1s are 2 2 is a 4 and it is exactly divisible by 2 hence it is going to give us the remainder 0 hence this condition is false once again the control transfers to else part now it is going to perform n is equal to n is what 4 
integer division by 2 so this always gives us the quotient 2 ones are 2 2 are so 2 will be stored in n once again control transfers to y now 2 is greater than 2 no condition is false correct once this condition itself is false then immediately control comes out of this while looping construct and it is going to check out this state uh, status so if status earlier it was initialized as status is equal to 1 correct so now it is true correct see out m what is value stored in m 8 here it is going to print 8 is power of 2 so let us consider this one as run 1 next we will go for executing the same program once again by taking some other number so let us name this as run 2 so once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter a number so i'm going to write enter a number next i'm going to enter 7 so 7 will be stored in variable n and which in turn initialized to m so m is also equal to 7 next we are going to check out while n is greater than 2 that is 7 is greater than 2 yes it is true and next we are going to check out this condition if n value is what 7 modular division by 2 so here 2 ones are 2 3 is a 6 so which is equal to 1 so it is going to give us value 1 this is true once this condition is true then status value will be set to 0 so status is equal to 0 and immediately control comes out of this looping construct while looping construct and it is going to check out this condition if status here status is set to 0 but here status is what if it is true then this statement will get executed here it is 0 means it is false else part will get executed so m means m means what 7 is not power of 2 will be printed now let us execute this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error i'll press enter now let us execute this program by pressing ctrl f9 here it is asking the user to enter a number i'm going to press 8 and then press enter here you can see 8 is power of 2. Let us execute this program one more time by pressing Ctrl F9. Once again, it is going to ask the user to enter a number. Now I'm going to enter 7 and press enter. 7 is not power of 2. I hope you understood this program. If so, please write down in the comment box as understood. Thank you. Mm -hmm.